Hey guys, just set up Facebook. Hey everyone. All right, Daily Health Habits Challenge Day 13. The topic today, let's make sure that's set up all right. The topic today is uplevel your mindset. So if you're new here, my name's Jocelyn. Um, I'm doing this awesome um, Daily Health Habits Challenge. We're on day 13. Um, if you miss any of them, go back and watch them. Um, we've talked about all types of things and hopefully some of you watching and, and um, you know, watching along have kind of adapted some of these little health habits that I've kind of shared with you guys, like drinking more water and um, rolling out your yoga mat every day and, um, you know, letting go of the negativity and um, surrounding yourself with positive people. Just super simp simple little um, mindset. Um, super simple little habits that you can adapt and totally transform your life. So, um, some of you watching might be like, what are you talking about? Up level your mindset. And that's okay because basically what I'm going to talk about today is, um, well, I'll show you, but the basics of up leveling your mindset is that it, we kind of talked about this a little bit before on another, an earlier video, but we are the average of the five people we surround ourselves with, right? So, up leveling, up leveling your mindset has a lot to do with who you surround yourself with and what you spend your time doing. So, are you spending your time with successful, like-minded, supported people, supportive people, or are you spending your time with people um, who think that everything is always bad? They think that life is happening to them and never for them. Um, just take a second and ask yourself those because that makes a massive difference. Um, and then ask yourself, who do you want to be? Like, what is your thing? Who is it that you want to be spending time with that embodies these qualities? So, um, comparing that to who are the five people you most spend your time with? What qualities do they embody? So more times, hey, Rachel, more times than not, when we, when we take a look at those five people, we totally see how we embody what they are as well. Cause we are literally like the average of the five people we surround ourselves with. So, um, think about people who influence you in the right way. Follow those people on social media, like get inspired and begin to make that shift. So I'm going to just tell you a few of my favorite simple tricks, um, and ways you can begin to think more positively. And I like to call it up leveling your mindset. So number one, clean up your social feed. Like we are on social media, probably more than we need to be, but Fault, like why not follow like-minded inspirational people surround yourself with positivity as much as you possibly can um listen to audiobooks there is so many influential people out there doing incredible stuff in the world like massively um audiobooks podcasts personal development books i always have something on that i'm listening to that is like up leveling my mindset i'm learning something new um my favorite right now is rachel hollis if you haven't heard of Rachel Hollis, go check her out like like yesterday because she's just on fire, seriously. She wrote a book, um, she's written a, a bunch of books, but her most famous one most recently is called Girl, Wash Your Face. It's awesome, it's literally like, girl, wash your face. And then her newest book coming out in like a month is called Girl, Stop Apologizing. So super pumped on that. She's like, she's super awesome. Another one is You're a Badass. Um, or is it? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's by Jen Sincero. Um, and the next one is The Universe Has Your Back by Gabe, uh, Gabrielle Bernstein. That's also another one. That's really awesome. So that's an awesome way to up level your mindset is just by literally like up leveling as a person and growing into the person that you want to be and want to surround yourself with because you will naturally attract people like you when you <laughs> often sometimes when we're up leveling we actually grow faster than our friends and sometimes we lose relationships and we lose friends because that friend is happy staying small and staying in their little you know box or circle or happy place that they have created for themselves but the sometimes we outgrow our friends and that's okay it's totally fine so another way that to up level your mindset is through affirmations um you can even incorporate eft tapping so if you're new to EFT or have no clue what that is, um, it's basically 
it's basically, um, it's called emotional freedom tapping or emotional freedom technique. And it's better experienced than explained. And it's basically physically tapping on acupressure points on the face and the body um, while you use affirmations. Um, yay, <laughs> thanks. Um, so it's basically EFT is like you're tapping but you're also using affirmations to reprogram your subconscious mind. So I have an awesome friend, her name's Jackie McDonald. I'll tag her in the comments, but she is like the tapping queen, like not even a joke and has a lot of public content over on her page. So um, I'm personally in her tapping membership and like tapping is so cool, you guys. It's like, it's like the, I'm just trying to think of something that you do in public that you're kind of like, scared people are gonna judge you about like it's like reading like I think somebody compared it to like reading tarot cards in public or something it's something that you kind of like keep on the down low but it's like tapping is it's like this like secret thing that helps you to just reprogram and get rid of these like limiting beliefs in your mind okay because we are all programmed from birth basically and some people even believe before birth like genetics um programs us into like thinking that life is a certain way or it has to be a certain way but with EFT and like awesome affirmations you can literally start to reprogram the subconscious mind okay that's super cool so if you love EFT comment I want to know because um, I know it's a new a new thing and not a lot of people have heard of it and I actually hadn't found someone that I really align with um, when it comes to tapping because a lot of tapping out there is really boring and <laughs> I don't really do boring and yeah so Jackie's like she she totally kills it in the tapping world but anyway okay constantly growing your mindset into where you want to be and who you want to be is like a thousand percent vital there is no need to stay stuck and small okay hard no no need to stay stuck and small there's no need to live lukewarm if you're watching this video hopefully there's something a little something that you needed to hear from this if you're just jumping in now watch the replay but live large <laughs> and in charge and how you want to live your life because there's so much judgment and fear that we we yeah we kind of like live in this life that we we are like scared of what other people think of us or whatever but it's like it's time to shine as you and that's kind of what I'm doing with this challenge because it is me getting out there on a limb showing my vulnerability but there's trust and vulnerability right you can really connect in and that's what I'm hoping is because like yeah there's no need to like pretend you're you're somebody different who you actually are but anyway that's all for today I Thank you guys for watching and I hope you're enjoying this. I'll be back tomorrow um, for day 14 and please share if you're loving this. It's just little, little daily health habits, but thank you. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you do it in the shower. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Good night, you guys.